Hello everyone. My name is Naveen Agarwal and I'm an international tax partner and North India tax head for KPMG in India. The positive and timely interventions undertaken by the government over the last several months have reinvigorated the sentiment for a sustained economic recovery. To further this momentum, in my view, the budget should focus on the following four themes. First, taxation of digital economy. With BEPS 2.0 becoming now a reality, the government needs to provide a clear roadmap for implementation of Pillar 1 and Pillar 2 proposals, as also the withdrawal of the equalization levy provisions. While the withdrawal may not happen in this year's budget, the focus should be on addressing some key concerns and challenges of taxpayers, such as applicability of equalization levy on sale of goods, as also issues around credit or refund of equalization levy paid against any future tax liability that may emerge and easing of the compliance burden for the four quarterly installments that, that are to be paid. Second, on dispute resolution, it is important for the government to now provide a permanent mechanism for settlement of disputes. For instance, the mediation process that we see in some of the developed jurisdictions or the dispute resolution committee that was set up last year for small taxpayers can now also be extended to large taxpayers. Importantly, the board for advanced rulings that was constituted as a substitute for an authority for advanced rulings needs some tweaking in terms of constitution for it to be, a, be an effective alternative to dispute resolution. The third theme is around making India an attractive manufacturing destination. Here, some significant steps have been taken over the last couple of years, such as the introduction of the PLI scheme, or for that matter, the concessional rate for new manufacturing, where the rate is 15%, provided the manufacturing or production commences before 31st March, 2023. The, gov the government should look at providing some relaxation given the impact the industry has had because of the pandemic. The timeline should be extended from 31st March, 2023 by at least one or two years. Finally, in terms of ease of administrative compliance, the tax collections have really strengthened in the last year on the back of uh, increased adoption of technology, exchange of information, and expansion in the tax net through increase in TDS and TCS provisions. This has added additional burden for taxpayers because of differing rates, thresholds, and also classification issues, uh, which are creating additional complexities and potential litigation. It is important for the government to streamline some of these provisions and possibly reduce the burden for taxpayers. All in all, it's important for the budget of 2022 to continue to stay course in terms of creating stability, predictability, and certainty to restore investor confidence, both for domestic and international investors.